Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the DC Collectibles action figure of Robin from Batman the Animated Series. There was a DC Collectibles Q&A a few months ago where they discussed the problems they had with Series 1 of these figures. In particular, their brittle joints. Like my Batman figure, his ankle joint broke right out of the packaging. And they talked about how they're going to be investigating using new materials for their joints for Series 2. And I gotta say, just looking at this figure, even with his little tiny feet and ankle joints, the joints on this are pretty solid and he stands really, really well, so I'm pretty happy about that. They also talked about investigating quality control, which is why they delayed the Poison Ivy figure, but it's worth noting the instruction manual here features artwork for Poison Ivy, even though she's been delayed. Now, this figure is really, really solid. I got no complaints when it comes to the articulation and quality of this figure, and I do notice an improvement compared to Series 1 as far as, like, the way the joints move. Uh, also, the paint job is really solid. I had some paint issues with some of the previous figures like Two-Face and Batman. But, like, look, the R logo, the yellow on his chest, his belt, the red, the green, the green gloves. All of it. It's just perfect. Like, it's great. Like, really, really good job. Including a really well-done head. Like, that's just perfect when it comes to, like, the actual, like, style of his hair and his mask, and the sculpt of his smile, the paint of his teeth. I just think they knocked this figure out of the park. Also, the cut of his cape looks really, really good. Now, the articulation on this figure has the bicep cut. Actually, it's not a bicep cut, it's a swiveling wrist, but I could have sworn this was moving, because uh, I'm an idiot. Uh, but it, the, sh the elbow joint does, it's a little tight. It swivels good, but it doesn't bend properly. There we go. Uh, also, you have the wrist joint that swivels with a hinge side to side. The head joint moves and is a ball jointed head. Gotta be careful with, I guess, some of this. I got some green paint flaking off. But uh, it's still staying on the figure, so that's good. There is no mid torso cut, but you do get the new legs, which uh, do hinge forward and back and side to side, but they don't have that hole, that very noticeable hole that everyone complained about on Two Face and Batman. and you know, Mr. Freeze and all them, so I'm glad they got rid of that. It's a single knee joint, but it does have a, a, a boot cut, so that's nice. And even though the foot hinges forward and back and it's really, really tiny, there is a little swivel as well, a tiny swivel. So consider me impressed on that regard. Now, one of the accessories that he comes with, of many, is an alternate cape. This cape slings over his shoulder, which I think is a really, really cool look. Another cool accessory he comes with is this figure stand which has this little clamp on it, which allows the uh, grips on the side to hold the figure into place. And I like that it looks like a little character design animation sheet of paper with the little animation holes and the character turnaround artwork. Nice little detail. He also comes with his little bolo whip and it's made of like a little rubbery material. And he also comes with his grapple gun, which is really, really tiny and can't actually be held by his hands, but they come with this really awesome like grip hand where the grapple gun is already in it. This is a really, really cool accessory, I think. He also comes with grip hands for holding his whip, and he comes with a pair of like relaxed palm hands because the main figure comes with fist hands. I gotta say, with all the cool accessories and the great, dare I say, perfect sculpt and the really, really well done paint job, I think this is a really, really great action figure that I'm very, very happy with. I also like that even though he comes with a figure stand, he doesn't need the figure stand. He stands great on his own. The only advice I have for you guys is be careful when switching out his hands. They do pop in and out quite easily, but they flake green paint all over your fingers. Thanks for watching.